The White House Coronavirus Task Force held its first press briefing of the Biden administration and announced some hopeful news in the fight against COVID. Health workers say right now, though, the immediate future remains grim. News for Jack supporter Tark Miner beginning our coverage of the pandemic tonight and joins us after listening in on that uh, task force. Well, the Biden administration is projecting as many as 90,000 more Americans will die from the coronavirus in the next four weeks. The Biden administration's first briefing was held virtually, which also resulted in the nation's top scientists experiencing a fair share of technical issues. Uh, we had some operational uh, difficulties. We're over to you on, on the state of the pandemic. The Biden administration's first COVID-19 briefing off to a bumpy start, including a full minute of Dr. Anthony Fauci talking on mute until he was informed of his problem with his microphone. Dr. Fauci? Yeah. I believe your audio just came on, so if you could come back to the beginning. But when the issues got ironed out, U.S. Centers and Disease Control and Prevention Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky shared some news she called hopeful almost one year into the pandemic. During the week of January 19th through the 25th, the seven-day average of new cases decreased by 21%. Walensky also said from January 19th through the 24th, the seven-day average of COVID cases decreased by 25%. And from January 18th through the 25th, the seven-day average of deaths decreased by 4.9%. Walensky also stressed that COVID-19 vaccines are safe, urging people who are getting the vaccination to get the second coronavirus dose on time. She said, however, if for some reason you can't follow the dosing schedule, the CDC has new guidelines on those special circumstances. The second dose may be given up to six weeks or 42 days after the first. Federal public health officials are projecting up to 514,000 U.S. COVID deaths by February the 20th saying the United States has confirmed 308 cases of the COVID-19 variant that originated in the UK and 26 U.S. states. The U.S. has also identified its first case of what's called the P1 variant that originated in Brazil. That case was detected in Minnesota. Dr. Anthony Fauci said both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine have proven to be effective in protecting people from the various COVID-19 mutations. Fauci also said Johnson & Johnson's vaccine, which is in its third stage of testing, is also expected to produce productive results. The senior White House advisor to the COVID-19 response team said today it'll be months before all Americans who want a COVID-19 vaccine can get one. Dr. Anthony Fauci says Americans should expect to hear in the next few days to a week about the trial results for Johnson & Johnson's coronavirus vaccine. The president announced yesterday the purchase of 200 million more vaccine doses, which he says will be enough to vaccinate 300 million Americans.